A large crowd of onlookers and a heavy presence of security personnel, all here for the arraignment of the most talked about suspect in recent times. Every available space in the courtroom is occupied, and the man at the center of it all sits calmly alongside five other persons alleged to have conspired with him to kidnap one Donu Donatus. In the two-count charge put before the court, the Lagos State Government says the offense was committed between February and April 2017 in the Lupeju area of the state. Armed with guns and other weapons, the six defendants are alleged to have captured, detained and collected a ransom of 223,000 euros from the victim. When the charges were read to Evans, he pleaded guilty. The plea took almost everyone by surprise, and Justice Akimo Shodi had to ask for the charges to be read again so he could be sure of the suspect's plea. Two other defendants, Uche Amadi and Okuchuku Nwachuku, told Evans part and also pleaded guilty, while three others, Chila Kaifai, Victor Chukunon Soaduba, and the only female among them, Ogechi Uchechuku, all pleaded not guilty. Following their pleas, the Attorney General of Lagos, Adeniji Kazim, who led the prosecution, asked for a trial date for those who pleaded not guilty and for all six defendants to be remanded in prison custody. There was no objections from the other lawyers in the case. Counsel to Evans, however, told the court that he has had no access to his client to enable him to prepare for the case. If you are representing a client in court in the criminal case, Section 36 says you must be given adequate time and facility to prepare your defense. Now, they were brought to court this morning. We were served the information, the charges this morning. That's a copy of the charges this morning. We have not had the opportunity to confirm with our client whether we should even represent him. In an email sent to Channel's television, Mr. Ogungweje has also alleged that his client told him that the police threatened to kill him if he did not plead guilty. He says, having conferred with Evans, the suspect is ready to change his plea to that of not guilty. The police have rubbished the allegations made by Mr. Ogungweje. They are confident that the case against Evans is tight enough to secure his conviction. People will be surprised why only two count charge. That on general just you know, worked on one file out of ten case files. Police, police has completed investigation on, on, on ten different kidnapping cases and investigation was thorough because it was, um, it was supervised by the Special General of Police. Channel's television has also gathered that the Lagos State Government has listed ten witnesses, including the victim and ACP Abba Kiari, to testify against the defendants. If convicted, the suspects face life imprisonment. Justice Akimo Shodi has ordered the remand of all the defendants at the Kirikiri Maximum Prison in the Apapa area of Lagos. For those who pleaded not guilty, the trial is expected to commence on the 19th of October. But if the guilty plea of Evans and the two others stays the same, then we'll see a conviction and a sentence. But it's a developing story. We'll keep you updated on what happens next. From the Lagos High Court, sitting in Ikeja, Shola Sheeli for Channels Television News.